The Saab 17 was the first aircraft produced by Saab. It was developed in the late 1930s. The first flight was made in May 1940, and the Saab 17 served as a dive bomber and reconnaissance aircraft from 1942 to 1950. In late 1944 and early 1945, 15 Saab 17s were made available for the Danish Brigade in Sweden, that was planned to assist in liberating occupied Denmark from the Nazis. However Germany surrendered before the brigade was put into action. 47 Saab 17s that had been retired from the Swedish Air Force were exported to Ethiopia, where they served from 1947 until 1968. The Saab 18 entered service in the Swedish Air Force in 1944. It was developed to replace the Junkers Ju-86 as a bomber in the Swedish Air Force. The Saab 18 became the standard medium bomber in the Swedish Air Force, and also served as a reconnaissance aircraft and a heavy ground attack aircraft. It was also used for trials with early air-to-surface missiles. The Saab 18 was retired in 1959. The Saab 21 was a twin-boom fighter with an unusual design, developed in the 1940s. The first flight was made in 1944, and it entered service in 1946. The Saab 21 served in both a fighter role and a ground attack role. Because of the placement of the engine, the aircraft was fitted with an ejection seat. In 1945, a number of Saab 21s were converted to the Saab 21R version. This version had the engine replaced with a jet engine. Over 50% of the aircraft had to be redesigned to fit the new engine. The Saab 21 was retired in 1957. The Saab 29 Tunnen was developed in the 1940s, and entered service in the Swedish Air Force in 1951, where it served until 1976. The design was inspired by German World War II designs, and was the first Swedish aircraft specifically designed for jet propulsion. The Saab 29 was a fast and agile aircraft, but it had a poor crash record. 99 Swedish Saab 29 pilots were killed in accidents. In the early 1960s, Swedish Saab 29s in UN service saw combat in the Republic of Congo. The Saab 29 also served in the Austrian Air Force. The Saab 32 Lonson was developed as a replacement for the Saab 18, as the Swedish standard attack aircraft. The Saab 32 had to be able to attack anywhere along Sweden's 2,000-kilometer coastline within one hour of launch from a central location. It had to be able to operate in any weather condition, both at day or night. The Saab 32 served in the attack role, but also in the fighter role as well as in a reconnaissance role. It was introduced in the Swedish Air Force in 1956, and was finally retired in 1997. A third of all Lansons were lost in accidents, killing over 100 crew as well as a number of civilians. The Saab 35 Draken was a double Delta wing jet fighter that entered service with the Swedish Air Force in October 1955. In the late 1940s Sweden saw a need for a jet fighter that could intercept bombers at high altitude, as well as engage fighters. One requirement was that the aircraft had to be able to operate from reinforced public roads, which were used in Sweden as wartime bases. The Draken made its first flight in October 1955, and the aircraft type went on to serve in the Swedish Air Force until 1999. The Saab 35 also served in the Danish, Finnish and Austrian Air Forces. The Saab 105 was developed as a private venture by Saab, and was intended as a business jet as well as for military use. It made its first flight in June 1963. Saab failed to find any customers interested in using the 105 as a business jet, but it proved to have good maneuverability and was well suited as a training aircraft. In Sweden, it has also served in a liaison role, for reconnaissance, and as a light attack aircraft. The 105 also served in the Austrian Air Force. The Saab 105 has been upgraded several times, and in 2021 it is still in service in the Swedish Air Force. The Saab 37 Vighan was initially developed for the Swedish Air Force as the replacement for the Saab 32 Lonson, in the ground attack role. Later it was also developed to replace the Saab 35 Draken as a fighter. 
The VIG Hen was already in development before the Draken entered service in the 1950s. The aircraft type was tightly integrated with Sweden's National Electronic Air Defense System, and it had the ability to make short landings on improvised runways only 500 meters in length. It was designed to be easily repaired and serviced. The aircraft had a thrust reverser, that would trigger when landing and assist in short landings. The Vig Hen served in the Swedish Air Force between 1971 and 2007, and is known to be the only aircraft type to have achieved acknowledged radar lock on American SR-71s, which occurred over the Baltic Sea on several occasions. The Saab 39 Gripen was developed as a lightweight agile multi-role aircraft, with highly adaptable avionics. The Gripen has an intentionally unstable design, using digital fly-by-wire flight controls to maintain stability. This improves maneuverability and reduces drag. The Saab 39 was designed to have a long service life and to have low maintenance requirements. Major systems are modular, and the design makes it possible to easily integrate newly developed sensors and armaments. The design also allows local operators to independently integrate local systems. The Gripen is described as a programmable aircraft, allowing software updates to be introduced over time to increase performance. The aircraft type has a low cost per flight hour. In a 2021 multinational air combat exercise, Saab 39s flew simulated combat sorties against F-16 Block 50s, Eurofighter Typhoons and F-15Cs. The Gripen scored 10 kills, including a Eurofighter Typhoon and 5 F-16 Block 50s on day one of the exercises, with no losses. The Boeing Saab T-7 Red Hawk is an advanced jet trainer developed by Boeing, in partnership with Saab. Originally known as the TX, the T-7 Red Hawk was developed to replace the Northrop T-38 Talon as the U.S. Air Force's advanced jet trainer. It was revealed to the public in September 2016, and made its first flight December 20 the same year. In September 2018, the Red Hawk was officially announced as the aircraft to replace the T-38. A total of 351 aircraft are expected to be produced for the U.S. Air Force. An armed version is planned to be offered as a future replacement for Nordtrop F-5s and Alpha jets around the world. The hope is to sell more than 2,700 Red Hawks worldwide. Among other things, Saab has contributed with newly developed software for the T-7.